What's up, my friends? Welcome back to another Sprinkler Tech Tip product overview. I'm Sprinkler Nerd Andy, and we're gonna take out and look at the Rainbird pressure regulating screen filter assembly. This is the three quarter inch size that I have right here. Rainbird does have two uh, sizes, a three quarter inch and a one inch. Let me show you that real quick. There you see the red is the three quarter inch size. That's the one I have right here that we're gonna look at. And then they have a one inch size uh, that has a yellow sticker on it. So we're gonna look at uh, the three quarter inch because that's what I happen to have in my hand. Let's open it out of the bag. I've already cut it so we can take a look at this. And uh, one of the things that is really unique about this particular design is it has both the filter and pressure regulation built in to one device. So it will save a lot of room in your valve box manifold assemblies. So I'm gonna give a closer look at this here in a minute, but that's all there is to it. This is your standard screen or mesh, uh, mesh filter. And uh, you know, this can easily be cleaned every so often, depending on the quality of your water. And that's all there is. So again, uh, if this were just a filter assembly and you needed a pressure regulator, you would have another device and it would extend the length of the manifold with your valve and pressure regulator. So this is compact. It's easier to install. It's less components. Um, and so that's really the, you know, the main benefit to using the device here that has the pressure regulation and the filter assembly all built in. So again, here, let me hold it up so you can get a better look. Um, you notice how this one says 30 PSI. And so this is the 30 PSI pressure regulator built in because it's the three quarter inch size. If this were the one inch size, then the PSI regulates at 40. And my guess, I don't know for sure, but it's likely that if you have a one inch size, uh, filter assembly, you probably have more tubing. So you're running a higher flow rate, you've got more tubing. And so therefore you need a little bit higher incoming pressure in order to have accurate flows through the length of, of that tubing. And then just as a general, you know, reminder, the emitters themselves don't need this pressure regulation. They, um, they don't need it. The pressure regulation is there to keep the fittings together because they're just push on um, compression or insert fittings and there's no clamps. So generally speaking, they're good up to 50 pounds of pressure. So uh, you can you know, consider that if you don't have more than 50 pounds of pressure coming into your system, you really don't even need a pressure regulator at all. You can just get a standard, uh, standard filter assembly. Um, again, this is the three quarter inch size. Let's take the, uh, let's take it out here, pull that screen out so you can get a better look at what the screen is. It's just like a nylon material, very lightweight. You can easily pull this out, uh, use a bucket of water and a soft, probably bristle brush to, uh, to clean it off should you need to. And uh, yeah, pretty straightforward device. If, uh, if we can help you with any of your drip irrigation system needs from Rainbird or Hunter or Netafin, we're happy to do that. We're here for you. You can reach us by phone, chat, and email. And uh, I think until the next sprinkler tech tip or product overview, happy sprinkling, and we will talk to you then.